Welcome back to Movies Outpost. Today, we will be diving into an action thriller movie titled, The Gray Man. Enjoy the recap. The movie kicks off in a Florida state prison with a guy named Fitzroy. He's got a mission to break out a prisoner named Six. The catch? Six has to join the CIA and work for Fitzroy's organization once he's a free man. Fast forward 18 years, and Six is now part of an elite CIA unit called Sierra. Teamed up with his partner, Agent Miranda, they're sent on a wild mission in Bangkok to take down a dangerous threat. As Six gets his trusty gun ready, Danny Carmichael, the big boss of CIA operations, fills him in on the details. It turns out the target thereafter has been spilling some top-secret info that could put national security at risk. Six closes in on the target named Dining, ready to take him out. But hold on, there's a kid nearby. Even though Carmichael barks orders to finish the job, Six can't go through with it. He tricks Carmichael, saying his gun jammed and then hits the emergency alarm. Pandemonium breaks out, and Six takes on the dining security guards in an epic fight. After an intense battle he finally catches up with the target, who reveals a shocking truth. He was once an operative just like Six, known as Sierra 4. And just like that, Six takes him down. But wait, there's more. With his last breath, Sierra 4 spills the beans. He was recruited by Fitzroy too, and warns Six that Carmichael is bad news. He hands over a necklace containing a hard drive, urging him to use it to expose Carmichael. With that, Sierra 4 breathes his last breath. Six walks away leaving the body to Miranda. After searching Sierra 4's body Carmichael learns the hard drive isn't there. Clearly frustrated, he calls Six for a status report. He even asks if he took anything from the body, but Six plays it cool and denies it. He makes his way to a gaming-like center and realizes the hard drive is encrypted. But he needs to crack it open, so he decides to hand it off to a stranger to deliver it to a place where it can be decrypted. In Baku, Azerbaijan, Six contacts the retired Fitzroy, sharing his concerns about Carmichael's actions and the order to execute a Sierra member. Fitzroy, alarmed by this news, asks for his location and promises to send a local extraction team to ensure his safety. Six reveals to Fitzroy that before Sierra 4 died, he handed over a hard drive containing information that could expose Carmichael's misdeeds. Fitzroy then instructs him to head to an airfield in Chiang Mai, where the extraction team will be waiting to assist him. As the plot thickens, Carmichael confides in Suzanne, a fellow CIA agent, that Six knows the location of the drive and has refused to disclose it. He informs Suzanne that it's time to bring in a specialist to deal with him. The scene shifts to introduce Lloyd, who's painted as a true psychopath who enjoys torturing his captives. Lloyd gets a call from Carmichael, who gives him his mission. Find and eliminate Sierra Six, who possesses sensitive information that could land them all in hot water. He orders Lloyd to retrieve the drive at all costs, and Lloyd requests Fitzroy's files to capture someone close to him. The idea is that the threat to a loved one might compel Fitzroy to spill vital information about Six. Carmichael then adds that Suzanne will assist Lloyd in the mission, even though Suzanne is hesitant. She has reservations about Carmichael's methods and isn't sure they're going about things the right way. The story moves to Chiang Mai, the extraction site, where Six is ready to leave Bangkok with the local team sent by Fitzroy. Meanwhile, Agent Miranda, en route to a mission in Singapore, receives a call from Carmichael instructing her to meet him in Berlin. The plot thickens when Lloyd pays Fitzroy an unexpected visit during a funeral. Lloyd issues a chilling threat give up Six's location or his niece dies. Lloyd reveals he's already abducted Fitzroy's niece, having found her through his personal files. He insists that giving up Six's location is the only way for him to resolve this dangerous situation. During the transportation of Six, the local team receives a startling call from Fitzroy. He orders them to eliminate Six but quietly. The leader of the extraction group communicates the order to his team, but Six, who was napping, senses the danger and fights back. The struggle that ensues wreaks havoc on the plane, with parts tearing apart as the conflict intensifies. Six manages to grab a parachute, but one of the local team's security wrestles it from him. In a desperate move, Six jumps with the soldier and lands on his parachute, managing to strangle the soldier mid-air. As he plunges towards the ground Six is alone and on the run, with enemies in every direction. After landing in Turkey, Six contacts Fitzroy to update him about the plane fight and the attempted hit on him. Fitzroy explains that they have his niece, Claire, and that's why he ordered Six's termination. Suddenly, Lloyd interrupts the call, demanding Six to return the asset. He defiantly refuses, leading Fitzroy to taunt him. Lloyd ominously warns Six that an elite team, known as the Grade 18, is on his tail and there's nowhere he can run. The narrative then flashes back to London, two years earlier. Fitzroy calls Six in for a meeting and introduces his niece, Claire, who's been training under Margaret's guidance. Fitzroy warns Six about the many enemies he has due to his line of work. Margaret reveals that someone in DC accidentally leaked Fitzroy's Hong Kong address, where Claire resides. 
with Fitzroy embarking on a mission to Brazil and Carmichael refusing to provide security, it falls to Six to protect Claire. Fitzroy also says that Claire was born with a heart condition and has a pacemaker. The narrative continues as Six is introduced to Claire. Their bond begins to form, marked by small moments like her taking a photograph of him. However, their newfound peace is shattered when Claire falls, screaming in pain. Six rushes her to the hospital, where they discover a programming glitch in her pacemaker. Fortunately, they're able to fix it, and now can monitor her pacemaker remotely. At home, Six notices the cameras are off and finds an intruder lurking. A fight ensues, with Six overpowering the unwanted guest. The noise draws Claire out of her room but he quickly reassures her, telling her everything is alright. Back in the present day, Six seeks out a contact who can provide him with a new passport and identity. The man instructs Six to freshen up for the passport photo. While cleaning up, Six is hit with memories of his father treating him poorly in the past. Once Six is cleaned up, he's handed an Ecuadorian passport. The man directs him to a platform for the photograph, but as he starts taking pictures, he triggers a button that opens the platform, sending Six tumbling into a dry well. The man reveals that there's a hefty bounty on Six's head. In a desperate attempt to escape, Six fires at the glass above, but it's bulletproof. Trapped, Six must figure out his next move as the man who was supposed to help him becomes yet another adversary. In Berlin at the CIA station, Agent Miranda finds herself under intense questioning from Carmichael. He warns her that any knowledge she might have of Six's whereabouts or the location of the drive could lead to immeasurable consequences. Carmichael shares that they've had no intel on Six for the last two decades and that he is the last remaining Sierra operative. Just then, Carmichael receives a message on his cell phone with the location where Six has been captured. Agent Miranda, quick and observant, manages to read the message as it's reflected in his glasses. News of Six's capture reaches Lloyd, adding another twist to this high-stakes game of cat and mouse. While all this unfolds, Six is busy concocting his escape plan. He bursts open all the pipes to flood the well. Before long, Lloyd and his men arrive at the location. The man who had captured Six seeking his reward is met with a bullet instead. Lloyd orders his men to search the area. As they approach the well, Six manages to break the bulletproof glass with the force of the water. A heated fight breaks out with Lloyd's men, but Six gets cornered by Lloyd himself. In the midst of their confrontation, he tosses a grenade, forcing everyone to scatter for cover. As he tries to escape, Lloyd catches up with him again. However, Agent Miranda comes to Six's aid, shooting Lloyd with a tranquilizer dart. She orders Six to get into the trunk of her car, but when he refuses, she shoots him in the leg with another tranquilizer. The narrative then takes us to a castle in Croatia, where Lloyd has brought Fitzroy and his niece. Upon arrival, Suzanne confronts him, expressing her displeasure over the kidnappings. Lloyd, however, is annoyed by her concerns. Frustrated, he retorts that he is her best shot at retrieving the drive and the advantage lies in his refusal to play by the rules. Cut to Agent Miranda and Six. She reveals her recent pull from field duty and makes it clear that Six is going to help restore her reputation. She probes him about his theft from the agency. He discloses that Sierra 4 had entrusted him with an encrypted drive just before his death. Unable to crack it open, he had sent it over to the UK agency chief, Margaret Cahill, who resides in Prague, for decryption. At the same time, Lloyd learns about the package Six had sent to Prague during the Bangkok operation. Wanting answers, he resorts to brutal tactics, torturing Fitzroy for information. After a ruthless session involving nail-plucking, Fitzroy finally breaks his silence. Next, Agent Miranda and Six visit Margaret in Prague. She reveals that the drive contains all of Carmichael's dirty secrets, his tortures, assassinations, explaining why Six has a target on his back. She instructs them to copy the files and leak them to the press. In a generous move she offers them her bulletproof car. However the meeting is interrupted when Lloyd's men storm Margaret's place, unleashing a hailstorm of bullets, all under the watchful eyes of Lloyd who's back in Croatia. Amidst the chaos, Margaret guides Six to a hidden basement escape route but she locks herself out. Six pleads with her to open the door, but she stands her ground. In a selfless act of sacrifice, she detonates the entire apartment, taking Lloyd's men with her. After the explosion, the police arrive on the scene. They attempt to arrest Six, but he fights back and makes a run for it, instigating a high-speed chase. The pursuit ends when Six crashes, leading the police to handcuff him to a bench in a city square. As Lloyd's Alpha team converges on the location, Six tries to warn the officers to clear the area, but they don't listen. In a desperate attempt to clear the crowd, Six fires a gun into the air, causing panic and chaos. This triggers a firefight between the police and the Alpha team, resulting in heavy casualties among the officers. As the battle intensifies, Six takes cover. The situation escalates with the arrival of a SWAT team armed with machine guns. 
They start firing at Lloyd's men, prompting Lloyd to send in the Bravo team to deal with the cops. The SWAT team responds with a heavy barrage of gunfire against the Bravo team, making it impossible for them to get to Six. Amidst the chaos, Six manages to grab a gun and fires back at the Alpha team. After a fierce exchange of gunfire, Six manages to break free from the handcuffs and boards a moving train, narrowly escaping the intense battlefield. The chase escalates as Lloyd's men follow Six onto the train raining down bullets. Miraculously, Agent Miranda arrives in Margaret's bulletproof car to rescue Six. However, their escape is an unnoticed as city police give chase, sparking a chaotic pursuit across the city. In the midst of this bedlam, the train carrying Six crashes. Seeing his chance, Six leaps from the wreck into Miranda's speeding car, narrowly escaping capture. After the dust settles, Lloyd is informed of the failure of his team. With limited options left, he orders another agent, Avic Sand, to track and retrieve the hard drive. The story continues with Six and Miranda heading to Claire's hospital to pinpoint her location, hoping to orchestrate a rescue. They manage to secure a hospital swipe card, which they use to trace Claire. But their plan is interrupted by Avic, who demands the drive. Upon their refusal, Avic ruthlessly overpowers them, confiscating the drive. With Six severely injured from the confrontation, they retreat to a safe location for him to receive treatment. As he tends to his wounds, Miranda inquires about his past, specifically his imprisonment. He reveals that his father was an oppressive figure, fixated on molding him and his brother into his image. The abuse escalated to a point where Six took his father's life, landing him in prison. It wasn't until Fitzroy discovered him that he was offered a way out. The narrative unfolds as Avic hands over the coveted drive to Lloyd, completing his mission. Meanwhile, Six and Miranda make their way to the fortress where Fitzroy and Claire are held captive. They manage to ambush a few guards, acquiring heavy-duty weaponry in the process. Miranda, armed with an RPG, commences her assault, causing chaos and destruction, while Six infiltrates the fortress to rescue Fitzroy and Claire. In the midst of the pandemonium, Avic retrieves the fallen drive. Despite their valiant efforts, Six and Fitzroy find themselves pursued by Lloyd and his men. Fitzroy, critically wounded, urges Six to continue without him, entrusting Claire to his care. With no other choice, Six and Claire leap into the nearby river to escape. Fitzroy, left behind, makes the ultimate sacrifice. Using a grenade, he detonates an explosion, taking out Lloyd and his men, buying Six and Claire some valuable time. Just when they thought they were safe, Lloyd, having miraculously survived the explosion, re-emerges on the scene. Simultaneously, Miranda ends up in a confrontation with Avic. Just as Avic is about to land a fatal blow, he surprises Miranda by handing over the drive. He admits that Lloyd and his men lack honor and don't deserve the drive. Lloyd manages to capture Claire, holding her hostage, and forcing Six to engage in a deadly fistfight. Realizing that he's losing, Lloyd resorts to using a knife, stabbing Six multiple times. Despite his injuries, Six manages to overpower Lloyd. Suddenly, Suzanne enters the scene and shoots Lloyd. With him dead, she proposes a deal to Six. She tells him that Lloyd would be the scapegoat for all the wrongdoings, and all she needs is a witness to corroborate her story. If Six complies, Claire would be spared. Caught in a difficult situation, he is left with a tough choice to make. Upon noticing Six's dire condition, Suzanne promptly ensures he is taken to the medics. In the subsequent scene, we see Carmichael, Suzanne and Miranda, being exonerated of all criminal charges by the CIA's higher authorities. This comes in the aftermath of Carmichael destroying the drive, thereby eradicating any incriminating evidence against them. Carmichael queries Suzanne about Six's location, to which she responds that Six is held in a high-security area. Suzanne plans on using him as a pawn, leveraging Claire's safety as a captive in Virginia. When Suzanne and Carmichael arrive at Six's location to negotiate new blackmail terms and conditions, they are taken aback to find that Six has not only escaped the facility, but has also eliminated every guard on his way out. Time is of the essence for Six, who immediately rushes to rescue Claire from Suzanne's men. In a scene filled with emotion, Six and Claire finally share a joyous reunion, back together at last. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.